Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Todd, I don't mean to cuss you for anything. No, no, no. one of the freaking weeks. <laughs> you kidding? No. All set, sir. All right. Well, welcome back to the channel. We've got another ACDC tune to uh, have uh, these gentlemen react to. It's actually called Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, and it came off of uh, their Back in Black album, which was Brian Johnson's debut album with ACDC. Super famous, even I've heard of the album. Uh, yep. I iconic status. Right. So Brian Johnson replaced Bon Scott. Yeah, so this was... This was ACDC's comeback. 1980? 1980. And, uh, you know, diff different different without Bon Scott. So I'm sure fans were very curious when this came out. Yeah, they yeah. They get their hands on it, probably. So let's see y'all's reaction to it. Let's go. Get some bluesy going on. is actually a lighter and smoking a cigarette. Oh. Like the slower pace, I can hear his voice better. Yeah, more of the bluesy vibe.
I see it. <laughs> Can I say an observation I have about ACDC mm-hmm. since I'm new to the band? <clears throat> they have a really interesting way of bringing you into the song and then pacing your ass along the way the whole time. You start at the front and then you just ride with them. Whatever they're doing with the guitar and the drum beat and stuff, it's like, dun, 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 dun. You're just naturally fo- bobbing your head and following along as they go. Right. <laughs> this was nice because it was slower. It was a little slower jog. They yeah. had like a whole lot of Rosie, which is just like a blah, 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 right. the whole time. But I appreciate that. The music's really good. The music's really good. But it's interesting how um, I find myself just following along. Well, cool. About you, Ty. I enjoyed it a lot. I, the voice is just so iconic, you know. And uh, I, I really like the performance, how he's singing it. Really like, yeah, putting a lot into the vocals and uh, the guitar riff is really cool too. His voice has like a really nice attitude to it. Yeah, it's and nice you know, to hear it slower, not screaming kind of. Right, and and you know how I'm a fan of the the voices with character, and obviously Brian Johnson's voice is you're you're a very Vi- gravelly. You're a Viking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then of course Angus Young is still rocking out the lead guitars. Now Malcolm yeah. Young, his brother, uh, is no longer with us. He passed. Okay. Right. But <clears throat> I had heard, I can't remember if I saw it in the comments, mm-hmm. but ACDC is going to be touring again. I heard, uh, yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so that's going to be really interesting. Um, you know, Brian Johnson's pretty cool because he sings a lot of the old. Bon Scott stuff. Yeah. And this album in particular, uh, Back in Black, is so freaking iconic. Totally. Because each song is different. And, you know, the 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 name, the the Back in Black song, obviously, Burm. took Burn them Burn. to to newer heights than they had before. Yeah. So anyway, cool. So you think it's a, a good one for y'all? Very good. Um, I don't know what you would think, Ty. When I hear this, I would think like a really good like classic rock song. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Forget the ACDC name. It's just like flat out really good classic rock. It's got that 70s kind of... Isn't ACDC classic rock? Yeah, well, they are now. Okay. Now, 1980, that I, was too long ago. <laughs> That's 40, sometimes 40 I years for, ago. <laughs> sometimes I forget I'm older and I'm, I'm still in the moment. I think like you the, know? the real... like. Shining star in this song was, you know, the vocalist. Especially at the beginning, right? He was real smooth. So, yeah. When I was a kid, so I was, what, 13 when this album came out? Yeah. So, when I heard that and smoking, I was like, oh, he's lighting a cigarette in this song? (laughs) I was like, they're they're bad. Mojo. I I like them. I like when they do that, though. It adds, like texture to the song kind of puts you into it you know? yeah like you're in some kind of a seedy smoke filled studio yeah. you know it's a little grimy and then they kind of grunge down on the beat and, yeah. and then you hear brian singing it's like oh <laughs> man it, yeah you're you're right it puts you in the mood yeah, a lot of the music i listen to they always add like whether it's like a cassette you're flipping it over yeah. and closing the thing cool. or cool. taking the vinyl needle off yeah. it's like the little things like that that just draw you in and if it's not the voice like Amy Winehouse, come on, her voice. Yeah. yeah right. That was a freaking, its own character, you know? Yep. So totally. things like that, yeah, I like to pick up on. All those, man, you were just astute. <laughs> I like that. I mean, you pick up on all these different elements that, that make something, yeah. you know, what it is. So yeah. that's, that's, a, that's great. Maybe that's why he wanted to do a reaction show. Yeah. Because he... he Dude's got an ear. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Probably too much music. <laughs> well, I would definitely, ACDC definitely balances the gap between multiple generations. I think young, old, you can enjoy that because it's just fucking really good. And maybe classic rock. Classic rock. Was, was it, were they, they were not heavy metal to you, right? No. Ever? They were all well, kind of. Well, I mean, uh, some of it kind of could border on that yeah maybe because their performances 
with okay. the head banging and all that, but but you would put not them really heavy metal. Okay, you'd put them in a different category. Maybe hard rock. Time. Maybe at the time. It... Yeah, at the time were they? No. 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 Okay. Because back then your exactly. heavy metal was Judas Priest, oh, um, okay. Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath. You know the British invasion. But, but it seems like they rock just that hard. So I don't know what's the difference. They, they did, but so the 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 metal sound, even though Judas Priest claims to yeah. have invented the sound. It was from Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath. Okay. When he he was in, worked in a factory, okay. and he was going to leave because Black Sabbath was formed, mm -hmm. and on the very last day of, of work at the factory, he cut the tip of, tips of his fingers off. Oh. And he was uh, he was a left-handed guitarist, so when he recovered after being in the hospital mm -hmm. or in hospital, as you guys say in England, in hospital, <clears throat> yeah. He recovered when he played the guitar it sounded different than when he played and, and and everybody was like real critical at first and that's where the whole distorted sound came from that's oh, the signature shit. of heavy metal gotcha. and so tony iomi is the guy that created that guitar sound that is in heavy metal today and so understood understood with, with acdc they play chords more so than the riffs that other okay. bands are known for. Um, so y you could kind of say that they're heavy metal, but more so they're hard rock. Hard rock. Yeah. Hard rock. All right. Well, good. That's uh, part of the reason I'm, um, it's all, it's all encompassing learning the, the learning the diff different elements of bands and the sounds helps me take in like a genre helps me take in like, uh, just give me good information what I'm actually listening to. And that's important. It matters. It's like EDM is not the same as synth pop, even though it's electronic. Right. With rock, sometimes my stereotype is all of it's heavy metal or it's just pop rock. I forget the middle ground and bands can fluctuate in and out of that. So like I said, I'm starting to it's my spectrum. Yeah. I'm starting to appreciate hard rock sound, John. Thanks to you. <laughs> well good. Maybe that was too much information, but No, no, good. You're welcome. <laughs> very, very interesting. All right, thank you guys for watching ACDC Today. We will do more on the show. We'll see you next time. Thank you.